Microsoft Teams has grown from an also-ran Slack clone to one of the most vibrant and necessary tools used by businesses all over the world. Being able to manage your team or a classroom of students can be tough, but thankfully, controlling chat through Microsoft Teams is super easy. Here's how to disable chat on Microsoft Teams. If you want to disable private chat on Microsoft Teams entirely, you'll need to have access to the Teams Admin Center. If you're an admin, click on Messaging Policies on the left of your window after logging in. Click Add, then enter a name and description for the policy. With that set, turn off the chat setting under Message Policy Settings, then click Save. To assign users to this policy, head back to Messaging Policies and select your new policy. Click on Manage Users near the top of the list, enter the user you want to disable chat for, then click Apply. Repeat these steps as necessary to disable chat for everyone. If you're in charge of a team, you can disable chats on any channel you own, as well as in meetings. Just log in and click on Teams to the left of the panel. Navigate to the team you want to disable chat for, then pick a chat channel under your team name. Hover over and click on the triple dotted icon that appears next to your channel and click on Manage Channel. If you're managing the general channel, set permissions to only owners can post messages on the settings menu that pops up to the right. If you're managing any other channels, turn moderation on under permissions and uncheck all boxes. Now, if you start a meeting using these channels, anyone else joining will be unable to post messages. If you wish to allow others to chat mid-meeting, you can navigate back to the same menus while in the meeting to change your settings. If you need to change the setting on the fly while in a meeting, you can also enable and disable chat by clicking on the triple dotted icon near the top right corner of your meeting and toggling the settings under meeting options. This is a new feature and may not be available for your versions of Teams just yet, so don't be surprised if it's not there. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Microsoft Teams and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.